<laughs> My name is Clarissa and I'm from Lincoln East. <laughs> My poem is titled Wallflower. Hello, it's me again, your social awkwardness speaking, causing the butterflies in your stomach to turn flip turns and loop de loops when you're faced with strangers or cute guys. Compliments are received with a quick smile and maybe an I love you, I mean, thank you, ah, dang it. <laughs> the feeling of uneasiness making your throat close up in the middle of a sentence, but you don't want to swallow, so instead there's an awkward pause. In the middle of a sentence that wasn't planned, and the blood fills your face, and your eyes feel a little itchy. <sighs> I make your eyes flutter about like a cat with a fly, and looking anywhere but your face, never landing for a fear of a deeper. <sighs> Dang it. <laughs> And the <sighs> when you face a crowd, those uneasy giggles erupting from your chest, and the uncontrollable uncontro shaking in your hands, you try and cover up by holding them tighter, and make your eyes flutter like a cat with a fly, never fearing for for fear of a deeper red rash still rushing toward the roots of your hair. I tell you just how interesting your shoes are. Did you notice that scuff mark on the side? Oh, look at that crack in the floor. Has it ever been cleaned? <laughs> ever since I was little, I always felt public speaking would be my forte. But it turns out I built a fort around myself called that same flock of butterflies, trying to escape out of my mouth and causing the uncomfortable swallow and actual tears, leaving my eyes in oral communication class. Then one day, I opened a book. And Susan Cain's words floated up to me in comfort. Introvert, a person who finds their energy recharged alone at home with a book and a slice of pie. The neurons in my brain are tracing pathways to my bookshelf where I find solace in the lives of the characters. Instead of the group of friends in the house down in the basement, I'm sitting alone out on their porch, cooling off my heated temperature. Public spaces make my chest contract and I feel the goosebumps prickle my arms or maybe it's the feeling that my limbs are made of jello. So I hold my arms around my body until I make my way home to the pasture where my horse can read my mind. We both find energy in the stillness of nature. The understanding flows easily between us, our connection beyond verbal cues. I run my hands through her soft mane and so soft winter coat, feel the warmth spread through me from the tips of my fingers to my toes. I find the knots in my brain untangling, allowing ideas to pop through and give order to the disorder we call life. Hello, it's me, just me.